All right, we're really excited about this. On uh, Morning in America, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month by honoring the many contributions, diverse cultures, and extensive histories of the American Latino community. Nick Smith has a story this morning of a Mexican-American migrant farmers out of this world rise to fame. Jose Hernandez has quite the impressive resume. He's a farmer, engineer consultant, wine connoisseur, and former NASA astronaut. From a young age, he was taught that hard work and resilience would help him reach his goals. His parents came to the U.S. as Mexican migrant workers. Jose worked the fields with his family, but at the age of 10, he knew he wanted more and decided to reach for the stars. After watching Apollo 17, Jose was inspired and set his sights on becoming an astronaut. In 2004, he was selected for the NASA astronaut program. In 2009, he went to space as a mission specialist. Fast forward to 2022, where the astronaut Jose M. Hernandez Academy Charter School in North Stockton, California, was born in his honor. He says he doesn't do it for the recognition. He does it so kids can see someone who looks like them, speaks like them, gives them the hope that they too can reach their dreams. Just incredible. And next year, Netflix will begin production on a film about Jose's life and journey into space. And he is joining us this morning to discuss all of that. Jose, wonderful to see you. Uh, you and I have talked many times, and I'm so happy that this will now be on the big screen for so many to see uh, your passion play out. Um, talk to me a little bit about how this project came about. Uh, yes, uh, Marnie. Well, uh, first of all, good morning and thank you for the recognition. But this project came about um, actually uh, when I left NASA, I started giving talks and people said you should write a book. And then I wrote the book and I must have caught the attention of the studios because then they started approaching me and said this should be made into a movie. And Netflix uh, was the first one that signed on. Unfortunately, because of COVID, there was a two year delay in that one. So they went ahead and sold the project to Amazon and Amazon is the one that's producing the movie and they're filming as we speak right now, Marnie. So probably late next year sometime, it's gonna drop into the Amazon platform and we're so excited. Michael Pena is actually playing me in the movie. Oh, that's wonderful. I can't wait to see it, Jose. Um, you know, you must be such an inspiration to so many uh, kids who want to pursue space as a career, but we're seeing fewer and fewer kids go into STEM programs. So how do you communicate um, the hard work that it does require, but how cool going into one of these fields like um, astronomics can be? Well, first of all, you know, let's recognize that STEM is the heartbeat of, uh, of, of uh, the U.S. industry. Uh, we need technology to stay at the forefront of technology and, and be the leaders in, 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 uh, in, glo in the global economy. And so for us to do that, we need to engage every segment of society uh, to, to enter the field of, uh, of STEM careers, science, technology, engineering, and math. And, and so my, my hope is that uh, when people, kids see uh, someone that looks like them, that had the same socioeconomic background that perhaps they have, that they're, they see a way out that education is the great equalizer. Mm, yeah, the, the, no, no human has limits and you can shoot for the stars no matter your background. Uh, you're the inspiration, Jose. How do you feel about space travel, um, the tourism side of space travel, what we're seeing, civilians going into space um, and the risks involved in that? Uh, Marnie, you know, um, the, uh, space travel is not trivial. And, but, but the way I look at it is anytime private industry spends a dollar in space exploration, that's a dollar less you and I as a taxpayer have to pay. And you've got to realize that uh, the tourism portion is at the same stage the airline industry was in the 1912s, 13, 1913, when uh, it was being subsidized by the U.S. Post Office for airmail. Well, now our, our, our subsidies are coming for these private industries are coming from NASA in the form of contracts to take supplies up to the International Space Station. So eventually the prices are going to come down. It's never going to come down to a, uh, the price of a plane ticket, but it's going to be to the point where a person can make a decision whether to buy a new car or go to space. I think eventually it'll come down to that price. Yeah, an expensive endeavor. Uh, Jose Hernandez, great to talk to you this morning. Uh, we love to celebrate you and space travel and also look forward to this, uh, this film dropping here in the next year. Thank you, Marnie, and uh, uh, lots of hugs to everybody. Uh, you too. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.